Vroom, vroom. <laughs> right, as you know, it blew the gasket out on the hall of Scott. We had to take the sump off and put a little gasket. Well, we didn't put the gasket up. We just tied and sealed it. So we'll see what happens. But one of our very good followers rang me up. What a good bloke. He's got a kit car with a little... Um, Two CV? Six, two CV engine, big pistons, in a little crank case. He said it was fried its oil out and that. <clears throat> so I took it to bits, he said, and I thought I'd have a look at the uh, breather. He said, and it wasn't very good, so I cleaned it all out, he said, and opened it up a little bit. He said, put it all back, it made no difference. So he said, I'm thinking about it, and I decided to try a non-return valve on it. He said, I put a non-return valve on, he said, and it cured it completely. When you think about it, it's a bit simple. So then he said, I've also got a Triumph motorbike, he said, and I did exactly the same with that, he said, and that don't leak anymore. So he said, I think it causes a vacuum in the engine. Well, I remember when we were turning the hall of Scott up, we had a glove over the thing to stop the dirt going in, and the glove was going... You know, so it was pretty serious pressure inside. So I think what he's got is a very good idea. So, that is the original thing that goes on the side of the engine. This is one of them. We've, got, we've made two, but this is one. Right, that's going to go on there like that. That's going to get braised. That's going to have a spring on it so that it can go like that. That'll be in there like that. So I'll just braise that on and, we'll, and I'll show you that one does. So in the Where meantime, does that go on the engine? That is the main breather. That goes there. Oh, OK. With the plan with this was just to get the air out of it. But this is... But this is... A this, better plan. Is, this might be a better plan. I mean, nothing, you never know until you try it. So that's what I've done there. And then John, in the meantime, he's made another one up, which I can't see. Oh, there it is. Now, that was a bit of old casting I had. I don't know where it come from. So we made this bit up, and we've made that up. And that's going to go on there. So what we thought we'd do, we'd try... This one initially to see what happens. And that then, one in conjunction with the big long no, one. No, drop that off completely and just, just that one. And just try this one and see what happens, and then see what happens with the two of them. But if we put that in there, get the end on. Disappointing, I agree. Yeah. Right. So, in theory, this is how it's going to work. So, it's letting the air out. But if it sucks, it won't. It'll shut off. What do you think? I mean, if it works, it's a miracle. Well, I, mean, I don't know why every engine I've ever seen hasn't got one on, but they probably have. Our followers will say, oh, yes, the sons will have one of them. But anyway, we'll see, won't we? So our next step is to complete this one. This is, this is going to go on there. Like that. It fits in there. It's a bit of a tight fit because no one it's a leak. So that's going to go in there. Probably have a lid on it. Because we got, we got the original lid, and um, you had the lid a minute ago. Yeah. Oh, what, you mean this? Yeah. What? Oh, yeah. yeah. Come on, we've got two. Okay. Yeah, there's one in there on the rod. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. So we're gonna that. We'll clean it up and put that on there so the air can come out. 
And then, of course, then a dry sump pipe, pipe might, might work then. So dry sump pump is also sucking air and oil out. So you never know. It might work. Bit of fun trying it anyway. original lid. John's made it set screws on. So that is going to go. Like that. So that's going to go like that and then we're going to take that one off, blank that off all together and just try it with that one and then we're going to get that one on through that. Okay, well that's good. So when we start it out, we can wish it. What do you think of the plan, John? Yeah, I think it's got a lot of potential. Yeah, definitely. Well, the old boy made it work. Yeah. I don't know whether he is an old boy, he might be young. He sounded, he didn't sound new though. <laughs> no, it's, it's having a... Um, we can ring him again, Ivan. Oh, we will. A valve is quite a common thing, isn't it? both completely shut. Not letting any air? Not letting any air out. They weren't trying to jump off their seats or whatever, so I don't know. It might only do it when it's really revving. Okay. It's ticking over it. You know, the, the dry sump pump might be empty in the sump. Okay, okay. I thought it was be more than that, but... Right, so we fitted the non-return valves on the breathers. In theory, nothing should come out of those, but we'll see. Luckily at Prescott it's quite good really because you start up and you spend a minute going flat out up the hill and then you come back and you've got plenty of time to have a look at it. Whereas you go around a circuit, it's a bit more difficult. But I think they're going to work. So anyway, so you might as well just see the finished job. This is the catch tank for the radiator, so we have a bit of pipe comes off of there. Okay. Actually, that feels a bit pink for me. I'll check that. And then, so that's going to let the air out of the front there, which I think is a good thing, whatever. And did you hear that wobbling at all? Did you? Yeah, yesterday? no, we, when we revved it, hit it at constant speed, it was definitely lifted off the. Okay. So yes. This one, I don't know about that. Oh, one. you haven't tried because before you were going to have a, a big breather and extension in the last yeah, video. Yeah, no, well, it ain't necessary. If we can get a vacuum in the engine, that's, that's wonderful. Yeah. And what's the... Are there any kind of worst-case scenarios with this? No, I don't think so. OK. I think the worst comes with us and just get a spanner out and replace the breather, keep the breather. OK. But I'm pretty confident it's going to work. Oh, that's exciting. So that's it. So then we're going to get the numbers off, put the numbers on. You're number 91. John's made a, a timing strut. We're going to put that on there. And then... Will that fit in the van with that? Well, the good thing is that we can take it off easy. OK. Yeah, it says so it's in front of the wheel, so that's perfect. That's it. So yeah. we might as well leave that off, eh? Yeah, yeah we'll only run into it, won't we? It will get bended. Yeah, that's Yeah, it. and anything that's else? That. Put the numbers off, so we're going to put the numbers on. Yeah, I'll take the rear view mirror off, because there's no one behind you. This I'm going to leave in there, because... That holds you in your seat nicely. Oh yeah, okay. Um, 
And that's it, really. We put the under tray back, we clean the under tray, and what we do with the under tray, look, if you shine it down here, Susie, we put those things that soak up oil. Oh, they're like nappy pads, yeah. incontinence pads. That's it, so it doesn't leak, you know, any leak drops on that. So it's, it's quite a long time before anything actually drips through. Okay. So Prescott, I would say it'd be completely like perfect. Um, and that's it really. So all we've got to do now, we're going to go off to Silverstone, buy a set of overalls. But I'd like to get a full face like the Americans seem to have, because if you look at them Americans at Goodwood, who you couldn't miss because they mention them every other word, they've got great big things. Well, ours are a bit more like that. So I a helmet with the biggest it size. It must be IHC so legal because they would have been out of race at Goodwood, but anyway. So this was our original plan to get the air out of the engine. But anyway, we well, can easily go back to this, uh, which you might have to do. But um, Prescott's perfect because for one minute, or whatever it is, it isn't going to give any trouble anyway. So that's it really. 8am at Prescott. Well here we are at Prescott, in the sunshine, no rain, perfect. Let's hope the old girl starts. Oh, is this it now? This is it, I'm going to walk Power on, fuel on. Yeah, that's all on. New racing suit on. Yes. New gloves on. A bit of pressure. Turn valves in which one of our followers suggested. I just oiled the valve, and if you watch the oil, it's sucking it in. Yeah, he's at red off the there, but I would have thought he'd done that one. Oh, okay, because I was going to try and find Right, okay. Yeah, I, I actually think Ivan likes doing this bit best. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I have one little tragedy, but we overcome it. When I was fitting the non return valves, that our mate sent us and said, This is what you ought to do, and I'm very positive, I think it's working. Roger. But I also worked on the other side because there's two bits like that. I did this one with the with the thing. The other side was just a plate, but I had to take that off to knock this one out, and I forgot it and left it loose. So when I went up the hill, it threw it out, and of course, obviously, it threw quite and a lot. What happened the out. first time you went up the hill? Well, there was a slight problem there. John had made the strut at the front for the timing, 
And he'd done a lovely job, but unfortunately he'd done it the wrong way up. It needed to be further down. So anyway, I arrive at the line, and the bloke's going like this, and, you know, oh, well, no, it's not really good enough. You've got it upside down. You'll have to fix that. Well, I'll do that when I come back. Yeah, fine. And he's messing about. Anyway, he rolled it back, and I think he was doing it on the wheels or something. And I looked in the timing office, and the bloke looked at him and went, thumbs up. And I drove off when the light went green. <laughs> Obviously, when you go racing, if they hold a red flag out, they don't expect you to park. You're supposed to drive very slowly back to the pits or back to the start. If you don't do that hill climbing, you stop. So I was only going like walking speed and I could see in front of me that there was nothing wrong. But of course, I jumped two red flags before I eventually stopped. And I was nearly there. It was literally, I was, the finish was 20 yards away. Anyway, I pulled up and had a chat with a bloke. I said, what's up? He said, I don't know. He said, but, you know, red flag. Anyway, they were very nice about it, weren't they? They were very nice about it. And the moral of the story is read the instructions. Sorry? The moral of the story is read the instructions. Well, I, I don't know, you know. I mean, when you think I've been going there for years, I suppose I'd never had a red flag before. But anyway... I find that hard to believe. Anyway, they they said, because I did that, they weren't going to give me an extra run. attracted to things that look original and this is one of the best things I've ever seen in my whole life. It's unbelievable. What is it? It's a Morgan family. It's a standard. A standard, standard. yeah. So it's called a standard. It's yeah. got a side valve water cooled in, air cooled engine. Yeah, so it's a jack. So it's 1924. So it's 1924 yeah. and it's all original. Yeah. Look at it. But again, it hasn't done a lot of miles. No. And the front brakes they are not the standard for and the standard um, Morgan brakes, but they were an extra. So this car, when it was new, would have had probably not front wheel brakes, and you bought those as an extra. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it is. Cool. It, it, they think it did actually leave the factory with a Blackburn on it, oh. side valve Blackburn, oh, that'd which be has nice. been. I never ever had a Blackburn. All the ones I ever had, I never. No, had a see, I'm, I'm a jack man, but yeah. I'd, I'd, but uh, someone knows where the engine is. Oh, oh Steve Lister get... knows where the engine oh, is, so so I need to get older then. Yeah. And um, but this is quite a nice, you know, it's a big port it KT Jack, no. got a little Brown and Barlow carb yes. on it, which yeah. is quite nice. The mag's pretty good. See so what the exhaust going yeah, through the chassis yeah. tubes. Uh, this, is, this is really something. But yeah, in a bit, shall we, shall we fire it up? Yeah. Well, there's a bit of 
Yeah, we're yeah, in there, right? So I'll just That's like the choke. <laughs> so well, it's not a dinosaur. Well, it's back to his flat, actually. So that's how it is to start in the side, just like that. That's a valve lift. When I bought the first load of stuff I had, I didn't know what that was. I nearly threw it away. Oh, right. Yeah. Oh, it really is quite... Oh, See, and then you lift the valve. I've only just realised it's a three-wheeler. You get it spinning, and then you let go. Clashing with a petrol tank. Oh. You're my hero. <laughs> <laughs> you should just say you're my hero. <laughs> <laughs> that would give out what I'm saying to <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> it's made my day. It's <laughs> you busy, Ivan. Well, they've given me a very important job. Stripping the green paint off of there because we haven't got time to spray the bonnet, so the bonnet's going to be aluminium. And this had some green paint on it because this is a little bit of original Bentley. So, so anyway, I've nearly done it now. Okay, fantastic. If I've ever worked on a last minute project, this has got to be it. And what happened yesterday? Well, we had a lovely day at Preston. The old, um, Paul and Scott went quite well, really. So in the end, it was quite good, really. We had a lovely day. Susan sold a load of T-shirts. Yeah. And uh, we gave away loads of stickers and spoke to loads of our people that, you know, you can't believe the number of people come up to me to shake my hand and say, keep it up, we love the channel. So there we are. So don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like the like button. And we'll see you in the Algarve. Bye.